This is Linda Lott, associate producer of the 53rd annual Sheep Dip Show. Linda, we're at the El Dorado. Yes, and we're so excited. In fact, we're rehearsing tonight. Shh, come with me and I'll introduce you to the director. Let's go. This is Lance Blaney, the director of this year's Sheep Dip. A lot of people are wondering, how does sheep get involved? Well, back when they decided to name the show when it was first in its first incarnations 53 years ago, uh, sheep dip is a, 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 it's a, a Basque phrase and it has to do with when they would bring the sheep out of the hills at the end of the winter, they would cleanse the sheep with sheep dip, clean all the burrs and everything out of their wool. And what we're doing is we are cleansing our community with the, sheep, with the satire of the sheep dip show. Cleansing the community may be the biggest understatement of the decade. <laughs> the satire approach to the issues that are about Northern Nevada is such an extraordinary fun event. Let's talk about this year's event and what subject matter you're gonna take on. Well, first I'd like to say that what we do, the way the show comes together, people bring together ideas. We, we read over what happened over the, the year, the preceding year, and we uh, people bring ideas. And, and it, the writers, there's a wide variety of writers. It's not just one person, and uh, that's really exciting. So this year, for instance, uh, we had two different scripts that were written about uh, the uh, fact that there were there are special Da Vinci tickets out at the uh, Burning Man, and that there are also now higher level tickets to go to the football games at Mackey Stadium. Well, we looked at these two scripts and said they're both about the same subject in different places, so we put them together in a, in a skit, which we'll be talking about here. So that's exactly how that came into being. Uh, somebody else had the idea with so many crawls that we have in this town now, what if there was a battle to decide which crawls get to stay and which ones have to go? So things like that happen organically, uh, uh, casually, however you want to say them, and then we look and go, that's funny, that's topical, and then we run with it and try to piece it together and make a show out of it. Now the Sheep Dip is more than a show, it's a cause. It's an organization with a purpose. So tell us about Sheep Dip, how it got its start, and who you benefit? Well, Sheep Dip started as a, as a branch off of the uh, Reno Ad Club. We would work with the journalism school, but over the years we became our own nonprofit, and then the uh, we, it's varied the charities we've given to. Well, we always work with the Evelyn Mount organization, and this year we're working with the Four Kids Foundation and the Veterans Guest House, uh, two great organizations, and we love to help out our community in any way we can. It makes it all worthwhile. I'm going to surprise some people that have never been to a Sheep Dip that all the people here are volunteers. That's exactly right. Everybody donates their time and their and materials and effort uh, just for the, for the cause. I couldn't be more excited. We're going to get to sit in on a non-dress rehearsal. Absolutely. Let's go take a look. Let's do it. Hey, man, I got to take a pee. You keep that seat warm for me, Chauncey. Too late. How gauche. Indeed. Say, I wonder what Franklin and Melinda are up to this weekend. I understand they purchased VIP tickets to that burning person thingy out in the desert. In the desert? <coughs> Good heavens, it's so windy and dusty out here. <coughs> Jeeves. Be a dear and sweep this up, will you? But it's a desert, madam. Oh, fiddle-dee-dee. -dee. You know I'm not good with details. Oh, kitten, be strong. That's life on the playa. Dear, do you think it's safe? <laughs> Hello, native burning people. Totally uninhibited self-expression. And naked women.